Welcome to my Kotel Course 5 Final Project, where my students and I decided to learn how to code. Well, we are making game on scratch using our coding. My aim was to have students learn some basic code so that they could create a simple animation or game to share their learning. I didn't know much about coding before we began the project. I had learned about HTML during Learning Tour a couple of years ago and I would found it useful when I was blogging. I hadn't taken the time to pursue coding any further than that. I introduced my students to coding during the Hour of Code event last December and due to their clear interest in the subject, I was keen to pursue it further. So I did what every teacher does and I turned to the experts my students, and my digital learning coach, Ivan Beekmans, to help get me started. They threw around names like Python, and Java, and Ruby, and Minecraft, and it was all a little intimidating. The math unit we were working on at the time was based on the statement of inquiry, relationships between numbers are the key to understanding our world, and it contained a debatable question. What happens when mathematicians are unsuccessful? I figured that coding would provide an ideal platform to explore this question. I hoped my students could see how new theories grow from previous failures and the power of collaboration in developing these new understandings. I saw coding as a way to practice effective skills like persistence and patience and hoped it would strengthen their resilience. The unit began with an inquiry into the origin of number systems and how this has evolved to the binary language used by computers today. We used lessons provided by Code by Math to learn how a computer can be programmed. The students first learnt how to input commands that have the computer complete their calculations for them. And then they extended this to using the mod operator and conditional if-then statements to search for prime numbers. I found that the students became frustrated with the accuracy required when programming on Code by Mouth and they weren't really sure where it was all heading. Truth be told, neither was I. They needed a context as a way to apply their learning. I had started floundering, so I turned to the Kotel community who led me to MIT's Scratch program. I had the students explore projects created by others as a way to see what Scratch was capable of. They then completed the Introduction to Scratch course and they were away. The students really enjoyed Scratch's user-friendly interface and I was impressed by how quickly they picked up the language and began to create an animation or game of their own. I could see how creating programs pushed students' problem-solving skills and challenged their creativity as they tried to integrate their understanding of number with their new digital literacy skills. Students rapidly engaged in creating, sharing, playing, and remixing others' games. Most students began with simple commands, often asking the sprite cat to say lines and lines of text. But some began applying what we had learnt through code by math, or by viewing projects created by others. They started teaching each other how to add variables, if-then statements, random numbers and lists to enhance their games. We have to be accurate with our coding to be able to not make any errors. While we were making the scratch, room, the scratch game, we had to drag the little tabs into the group creating space. We connected all the tabs to make a sequence of steps, therefore making a real game. I think we're doing so which wheels can make games for the people of factors and so others can learn. So others can learn from them. Can you see? But it's hard when they're not working. So it's gonna be six again. No, okay, it's not. Okay. What do you do when something doesn't work? You flip out on your computer. No. Review on like what I've done in the past, and I kind of like look at the part that was not working correctly. I go back and look at it, and like sometimes what I'll do is I'll forget to add one prime factor or something like that. So I'll go back, work it out, make sure I've got everything correct. Yep. Then verify sometimes with a friend. Can you see how that 
skill can be directly transferred from what you're doing with that to what we're doing in class all the time? That's, that's probably the main why I think now, thinking about it, the why we're doing this. To determine the success of the project and my students' previous learning about remix culture and copyright, I had them complete an anonymous survey. As you can see, the overall response about the experience was positive and it inspired me to look for further options to incorporate coding opportunities into the curriculum. While this project may not have created opportunities that were previously inconceivable, after all, learning to program at school is nothing new. It has redefined sharing and collaboration in my classroom and would not have been possible without the use of this technology. Based on the interest from students, my teaching partners in the year level have since introduced coding to their classes as well. Like we have to have such a good understanding, yeah, show our understanding. that we can show others, so we really have to know like other do you, do you think it's worth the extra time and effort? No. It would have been better if we just made a poster or like a little set because it's like an easy way to like just put it down on paper instead of trying to but learn first how you make the game and then if it doesn't work and like fix it. I, I, I disagree. Alright, uh, what do you two think? It helps us like be more creative. Plus I haven't done this ever. And especially it, it helps us look at so you can have a growth mindset because you challenge yourself. You challenge yourself um, to make a game and you learn how to find out new ways to like code. What skills are you developing, do you think? Just uh, developing skills that project, I learned that the students respond well to me learning alongside them. I didn't need to know all the answers, they found other ways of finding them. When we next complete a coding project, I will look to implement a modified version of the design cycle to help them iterate their projects. I will also be far less intimidated about getting started. Times remain calm, but you gotta let your feelings go. Don't let it blow like breeze through these open seas. I read life into words like the seas that go. Well, now you know, kiss baby and original. Baby, get with the label. Hit you up with the physical.